वेलकम टू फायर्स एडुकेशनल वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ आर डिस्कशन ऑन टेक्निकल एनालिसिस बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल नो द थ्री डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स इन विच अ सपोर्ट कैन अपीयर ऑन चार्ट्स जनरली a support could take any one of the following three shapes horizontal upward sloping to the right or downward sloping to the right now let us discuss each of these forms of support let us take up the horizontal support first Have a look at this sample chart here. Notice that each low is essentially at the same level as its predecessor. As a result, if the lows are connected using a line, you will notice a line that is horizontal. So, a horizontal support occurs when two or more lows are concentrated at identical or near identical levels. Have a look at this real time chart here. The time frame that is used in this chart is daily. Notice in this chart how the price took support at essentially the same level on four occasions. What this tells us is that buyers are strongly determined in defending this support area which is causing the price to repeatedly bounce off the same region. What can you make out from this chart? Well, this chart tells the chartist that until this support level is broken in a convincing manner, any approaches towards it can be used to buy the security. Let us now look at a support that is upward sloping to the right. Look at this sample chart here. If you closely observe the unfolding pattern, you will notice that the lows are being made at progressively higher levels that is the second low is above the first low the third low is above the second low and the fourth low is above the third low as a result if the lows are connected using a line you will notice a line that is rising to the right so a rising support occurs when two or more lows are concentrated at progressively higher levels look at this real time chart here the time frame that is used in this chart is half hourly meaning each candle displays the price action of each 30 minute period observe in this chart that the support is coming in at higher and higher levels What this tells us is that there is increased enthusiasm on part of the buyers to buy the security due to which they are bidding in at progressively higher levels causing the supports to rise with time. Notice that each time the price approach the rising line it moved higher from there. What you can make out from this chart? Well, This chart tells the chartist that until this rising line is broken convincingly approaches towards this line can be used to buy the security. That said towards the fag end of the chart notice that the rising line was indeed broken which signal that the buying interest which came in at higher and higher prices has faded and that the sellers have taken control of the price. Finally let us now look at the third type of support the one that is downward sloping to the right look at the sample chart here if you closely observe the unfolding pattern you will see that the lows are being made at progressively lower levels in other words see that the second low is below the first low the third low is below the second low and the fourth low is below the third low as a result if the lows are connected using a line 
you will notice a line that is sloping downwards to the right. So, a falling support occurs when two or more lows are concentrated at progressively lower levels. Notice this real time chart here. The time frame that is used in this chart is 15 minutes, meaning each candle displays the price action of each 15 minute period. Observe that the supports are coming in at lower and lower levels. What this tells us is that the sellers are aggressive and are determined in pushing the prices lower, but there are boots of buying interest appearing at depressed levels or at new lows, which is causing the price to bounce from these levels. See that the third time the price approached the falling line, it moved higher exactly from that line. What can you make out from this chart? Well, this chart tells the chartist that the price structure remains weak as new lows are being made with each down leg. However, it also informs the chartist that approaches towards the falling line can be an attractive level to possibly set up a high risk buy strategy. Why do I call this a high risk buy strategy? Well, for the simple fact that you are trading against the direction of the prevailing downtrend. Well, that was all that we wanted to talk about in this video. If you liked our video, do not forget to click on the like button below. Also, hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel and the bell icon to receive regular updates from our site. Last but not the least, we have a dedicated space for School of Stocks related discussions on FIRES community. We encourage you to interact with us on our School of Stocks community page by visiting the link shared below. Thank you for watching this video.